One of the, the aspects of restrictive lung disease that um, I, um, I encourage um, patients to really think about and discuss with their physicians is um, whether the surgical interventions that are being proposed will actually either maintain their level of lung function or improve it. Because unfortunately, uh, I think it's because there are so many different surgeries that are offered to patients with Marfan syndrome. And they have to be responsible for understanding the literature and the history, the expectations for every one of these surgical interventions. And for interventions in the chest, there's a component of what we call cosmesis, and that's appearance. And there's also a component of what we call function. And those can be very much separated and divided. For example, um, pectus excavatum is a very common chest deformity in Marfan syndrome. And it's typically kind of manifest. And, and many people have it who don't have Marfan syndrome. It's the most common chest wall disorder in the general population. And what it is is a depression of the sternum or the central part of your chest. And for some um, people and for some kids especially who have this, it's a major source of discomfort, especially around other kids who may see it when they're in gym class, when they go swimming. And what I encourage pa parents to do is to take that discomfort seriously. And if there's an intervention planned, simply because you have a child who feels uncomfortable and finds this kind of a socially kind of um, disturbing um, situation, and that's a reason to intervene. Unfortunately, that rationale for a surgical procedure gets very much tied into, will this improve my child's lung function? And very often, a pectus will cause just a modest, a very small reduction in lung function, but nothing that would cause any symptomatic problem or major limitation in exercise capacity. And, and so what I like to do is really clarify the rationale for actually having a procedure done because unfortunately there's not any surgical procedure that doesn't have a potential complication and therefore parents really have to know why they're having the procedure done and um, pet this is a classic example because I hear all the time from parents who say you know will it improve my child's lung function I've been told that he has reduced lung function or she has reduced lung capacity. And I try to clarify the issue, no, the intervention will not improve the lung function. But if there's a cosmetic reason to have it done, then that's compelling. And um, I mean, there, um, I had an encounter a couple of years ago at one of the Marfan meetings where um, one of the parents was concerned about having the surgery and um, her son had a fairly deep pectus and um, we brought her son into the room and we were talking about the pros and cons and I asked the son, um, are you concerned about having this pectus? And he said, oh no, I think it's really cool because I can put Coke cans and I can put lots of things in there when I hang out with my friends. And, and I asked him, well, you know, do you feel odd because your chest is different from your friends? And he said, well, no. Why would I want to look like everybody anyway? And so, and I thought, my gosh, they have this exceptional child. And, you know, it's wonderful. That's exactly what you want your child to say. And um, because he obviously had an incredibly healthy self-concept, it didn't bother him. And, um, and so the major rationale for doing the surgery just wasn't there. And I think it was very helpful for them to hear him say that in a very neutral environment. And, um, and I like to encourage parents to actually have that conversation with their children.